Imagine a land sculpted from the very fabric of history, where every stone tells a story of faith and resilience. Welcome to Ethiopia. Here, the air vibrates with tales of ancient civilizations and the echoes of diverse cultures blend into a rich mosaic. From the soaring peaks of the Simeon Mountains to the mysterious depths of the Danakil Depression, Ethiopia offers a panorama of natural wonders. Its cities steeped in history invite you to wander through centuries-old stories. Join me enough deep as we unveil the timeless treasures of Ethiopia. Carved directly from the mountains, the rock-hewn churches of Lalibela stand as a testament to Ethiopia's profound spirituality. Nestled in the rugged landscapes of northern Ethiopia, the 11 medieval churches of Lalibela are an architectural marvel, each carved from a single block of rock. These structures are not built but rather excavated, each stone chiseled away to reveal the churches within. This monumental task was undertaken during the reign of King Lalibela in the 12th century, who aimed to construct a new Jerusalem for those unable to make the pilgrimage to the Holy Land. The design and execution of these churches are nothing short of miraculous. Imagine descending into a trench to enter a church, walking through tunnels connecting some, while others stand as isolated islands of spirituality. Bet Georges, or the Church of St. George, is perhaps the most iconic. Shaped like a cross, it is a masterpiece of symmetry and ingenuity. Each year, these churches become the focal point of a massive pilgrimage. Thousands of Ethiopian Orthodox Christians gather here to partake in vibrant, soul-stirring ceremonies, especially during the festival of Timkat, which celebrates the Epiphany. The air fills with hymns and prayers, echoing through the stone corridors, creating a palpable sense of connection to something greater than oneself. Lalibela, more than just architecture, it's a living, breathing place of worship. Step into the Camelot of Africa, where castles and palaces tell tales of Ethiopia's royal past. Nestled in the northern highlands of Ethiopia lies Gondar, a city that once served as the opulent heart of the Ethiopian Empire. Here, the Fasil Gebi Castle Complex stands as a monumental reminder of the country's grandeur during the Gondarine dynasty. This fortress city, surrounded by high stone walls, is not merely an architectural marvel. It's a mosaic of history, each stone whispering stories of the past. As you wander through the complex, you're greeted by the striking blend of Arabian and Baroque architecture, a testament to the diverse influences that have touched this region. The castles, with their imposing towers and turrets, create a silhouette that might remind one of the tales of knights and royalty. Beyond the main castle, the Bath of Facilities offers a glimpse into the leisurely aspects of royal life. Originally constructed for ritual purposes, it now serves as the centerpiece of Timket, the Ethiopian epiphany, drawing crowds who celebrate amidst its historic walls. A short stroll away is the Debris Barhan Selassie Church, an emblem of spiritual and artistic heritage. Its ceilings, adorned with the faces of angels and walls covered in vibrant frescoes, depict biblical scenes and the lives of saints enveloping visitors in a serene sacred atmosphere. Gondar, a royal city that continues to enchant with its stories of emperors and princesses. Rising into the clouds, the Simeon Mountains offer a sanctuary for both the soul and the wild. Here. In the heart of Ethiopia, the landscape unfolds like a grand canvas, painted with jagged peaks and deep valleys that have stood the test of time. This is a place where the air is as crisp as the uninterrupted views are vast. The Simeon Mountains are more than just a feast for the eyes. They are a haven for some of the world's most unique wildlife. The Gelada Baboon, with its shaggy mane and expressive eyes, roams these highlands in large, sociable troops. Not far behind in the rarity stakes is the elusive Walia ibex, a species that clings to the rocky precipices, as endemic to these mountains as the silence that fills the air. For those who seek adventure with every step, the trails here offer endless trekking opportunities. Each path promises a new discovery, a new vista to gaze upon and wonder at the sheer beauty of nature. The Simeon Mountains, where nature's grandeur is on full display. Behind ancient walls, Harar emerges as a vibrant mosaic of markets, mosques and minarets. Nestled in the eastern part of Ethiopia, the city of Harar is an emblem of Islamic culture, boasting over 100 mosques within its historic boundaries. This city isn't just a place, it's a living museum, recognized by UNESCO for its unique cultural heritage. Walking through Harar is like traversing a labyrinth of spirituality and commerce. 
The air buzzes with the calls of market vendors, while the scent of spices and coffee fills the narrow alleyways. Among the most mesmerizing traditions here is the nightly feeding of wild hyenas, a practice that symbolizes the harmonious coexistence between humans and nature in this ancient city. The city's markets are a riot of colors, from vivid textiles to intricately woven baskets, each stall tells a story of craftsmanship passed down through generations. Hara, a city where traditions weave through the streets like its many winding alleys. In Aksum, the past reigns eternal, guarded by ancient obelisks and relics of a once mighty empire. Here, the towering granite obelisks, carved thousands of years ago, pierce the sky like timeless sentinels. These monolithic stelae, some of which still stand proudly, were erected to mark the tombs of ancient kings and their cherished beliefs. Venture further and discover the underground tombs of King Caleb and King Gebre Meskel. These subterranean sanctuaries whisper tales of Axum's golden age, offering a poignant glimpse into the lives and afterlives of its rulers. The craftsmanship and engineering displayed here reveal a civilization far ahead of its time. Not far from these tombs lies the revered church of St. Mary of Zion. This sacred site is enveloped in mystery and devotion, believed by many to house the legendary Ark of the Covenant. It's a place where faith and history merge, creating a palpable sense of awe and reverence. Axum, a cornerstone in the foundation of Ethiopian history and legend. Venture into the Danakil Depression, a landscape so surreal it defies the imagination. In the northeastern part of Ethiopia, the Danakil Depression offers an extraordinary vista that could easily be mistaken for a scene from another planet. Here, the earth crusts over in a patchwork of salt pans and vividly colored sulfur springs while steam and gases escape from vents in the ground, hinting at the fiery activity below. This is one of the hottest places on earth, where temperatures often soar above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a place of extremes, where survival seems implausible, yet it hosts an array of microorganisms adapted to its harsh conditions. The landscape is equally known for its ethereal beauty, with mineral deposits painting the terrain in hues of green, yellow and red. Among these striking features stands the Erta Ali volcano, one of the few persistently active lava lakes in the world. Its bubbling surface a mesmerizing sight that draws the brave and curious. The Danakil Depression, a testament to Earth's fiery power and raw beauty. From the echoes of ancient empires, we arrive in Addis Ababa, a city pulsating with life and culture. Here, the past and the future are interwoven like the intricate patterns on a traditional Ethiopian gabi. In the heart of the city stands the Holy Trinity Cathedral, an architectural marvel and a historical beacon. Its walls, steeped in history, have witnessed the coronations of emperors and are a solemn tribute to Ethiopia's deep-rooted Christian heritage. Just as stones throw away, the vibrant chaos of the Mercado unfolds. Claimed to be one of the largest open-air markets in Africa, Mercato is a teeming microcosm of Addis Ababa's energetic pulse. Here, everything from aromatic spices to traditional textiles is bartered with a fervor that matches the bustling streets outside. Not far from the market's lively alleys, the National Museum of Ethiopia offers a serene contrast. Home to the famous Lucy, an ancient hominid, the museum encapsulates the country's rich archaeological narrative. Addis Ababa, a dynamic city where Ethiopia's past and present converge. From the heights of the Simian Mountains to the depths of the Danakil Depression, Ethiopia offers a journey through time and nature. We delved into the spiritual depths at Lalibela's rock-hewn churches and felt the echoes of imperial grandeur at Gondar's palaces. We embraced the wild beauty of the Simeon Mountains, wandered through Harar's ancient walls, marveled at Aksum's mysterious obelisks, and ventured into the surreal Danakil Depression. Each site whispers tales of a rich, vibrant past beckoning explorers to discover more. Thank you for joining me, Navdeep, on this incredible journey through Ethiopia. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more adventures with Travel the World.